Hey, everybody. John Granato from the Bench. Mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5, and that's A.J. Hoffman. He is on the Blitz afternoons on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe right now so that you can get all our content here at SportsMap HOU. Uh, AJ, there's quiet on the Western front with Deshaun Watson. Nothing. Everybody's speculating that they're negotiating. Wait, slow down. Mark Berman put out, no, Tony Busby says a settlement is not happening. What do you, so what are the repercussions from no settlement now between Deshaun and the victims or the alleged victims? Well, I I think what that means is we're going to have a civil trial. And it's obviously going to be public and it's going to be ugly and it's it's not going to help Deshaun. Uh, I, I like to assume that Deshaun w- would have, uh, you know, worked really hard to get a settlement because I think that's his best way out of this thing. Uh, but it, it doesn't sound like that's in the cards. So I, I think this thing gets uglier. It gets drawn out even further. And losing a civil trial looks way worse than just settling and like you know having people sign NDAs and things like this this is a it's probably worst case scenario for Deshaun because it almost assures and we kind of assume this anyway that he's not going to be ready for the start of the season if if he plays the season at all well and it you know what this could be just a play by Busby too because they're at an impasse. They're not making any movement. Whatever the case may be, I don't even know if they have been. Allegedly, they had been negotiating or whatever, and Busby's not happy if he's not happy with it. Now, if this seems like it's going to be long and drawn out, there's a lot of people who are assuming that he won't be able to play while these lawsuits are going on. While I think I think he could play, obviously. We saw Antonio Brown playing while he had his civil lawsuit going on. I don't think that that's going to be the case, but criminal charges now possible possibility that could hinder him from playing i think that's a real possibility but this might be just a ploy by busby too saying oh really we're gonna drag this on forever boys you want to settle or not so you better start coming to the table with a little bit more that's entirely possible and and i mean obviously with with lawyers there's always going to be posturing both both these guys probably presume right now that they've got the upper hand and I, you know, unless you're in the rooms with them, I don't think there's any way for us to really know. But it, I, I would, I would sort of, I guess, based on everything that's come out publicly, I would lean towards, like I said, if there was going to be a settlement, Deshaun would be all for it. Uh, so I, I, I worry a little bit for Deshaun that they may not be interested in settling, and uh, and there may be some who would be interested and some who wouldn't, and it, maybe they're trying to figure out how to divide and conquer these people. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I do think there is something too. like the, if I, if I were Deshaun, I'd want to get this done as soon as possible. So Busby saying that to me means it's probably not happening. Well, this may be posturing by both sides. Then don't forget now, Deshaun at the very beginning said, I am not going to settle. I didn't do anything wrong, so I'm not going to settle. And then Rusty Harden come out and say, they're all liars. So we have proof that they're lying, so we're not going to settle. This might be Deshaun's side saying, we're not going to settle. It could well be, but that just means it's going to be more and longer, and it's going to be that much harder for Deshaun to get back on the field. Then there's been the assumption that the NFL is going to suspend. But from what Tony Busby said about the way Lisa Friel is disrespecting the alleged victims during these interviews, maybe, maybe she doesn't believe that they're telling the truth and maybe the NFL will side with Deshaun. I find that hard to believe in today's climate. If you are, if you're a, an organization like the NFL and you don't side with these accusers, then you're you're going you're opening yourself up for a lot. And, and I and we've seen the other side of it, where if you if you you know side against your player like they did against Zeke Elliott last year, and it turns out that all of these allegations are false, if you're the NFL, you don't even need to give an apology. Apparently, it's just uh, well. It worked out. Yeah, good for you. Uh, you can come back now. And so I, I think the NFL, they feel a lot more comfortable taking action and worrying about maybe he's innocent later versus saying, 
nope, we don't believe these women because that's just going to open them up to a to a whole new thing. Well, and uh, it's funny. It's good. Thank goodness it's Lisa Friel. It's a woman who they put in charge of this because if it was a guy who was Oof. in charge of this, you know, this old boy network that the NFL has always thought to be that they always overlooked and minimized uh, these accusations by women – and if it was a guy who was disrespecting these alleged victims, then it would not look good for the NFL. It's a little bit surprising that a woman wouldn't be more sympathetic to these women. Well, remember at the end of the day, Lisa Friel can be in charge of this investigation, but there, in the NFL, there's one judge, jury, executioner, and that's what we saw last year. And whatever penalty is handed down or not handed down will eventually fall on Roger Goodell's shoulders. So that, I, th- I think while Lisa Friel's a nice front person for it, we all know who's making the final decision there. Yeah, that, that is true. And with the Zeke Elliott thing, too, and with this Deshaun thing, I don't care if you're guilty or not guilty. This is a bad look for us no matter what oh, yeah. happened here. 40 massages is a bad look, Deshaun. Deshaun is getting suspended. I don't think there's. I don't care what Lisa Friel is thinking about what these victims did or, did or or if they're telling the truth or whatnot. Deshaun is getting, he is getting suspended. 